Hey everybody, Sheree Warwick here, BlackBlockchainConsultants.com. Okay, so you know what we usually do. We usually go through a couple of articles of the day and talk about what's happening in blockchain news. So let us do that now. And the first thing that we want to look at is Bank of America. So if you don't know, Bank of America has, if not, I think they actually have more uh, blockchain patents than any other company worldwide. If they are not number one, they're number two or three. They are uh, really, really putting a lot of money and focus into blockchain along with IBM. So block, uh, sorry, Bank of America files for blockchain ATM as a service patent. And this article is talking about the ATM transactions that will be powered by the blockchain. So uh, Bank of America has filed this, outlines a system by which a cash handling device could utilize blockchain technology to accelerate transaction speed and or facilitate other types of transactions in addition to ATM transactions like cash withdrawals and deposits, such as gift registry transactions. So we know the blockchain is all about that, um, the ledgers, and this is going to be another way of, of um, securing those ledgers. Blockchain could also help such devices handle a relatively large amount of transaction volume while reducing its physical cash transportation needs. I thought that that was interesting as well. So they, Bank of America is seeing maybe that there's going to be more of a shift towards digital, tech, uh, digital currency, and they want to make sure that they're able to capitalize on it. Uh, it is saying here, the bank is effectively looking to implement ATM as a service, which means that they will be able to offer this uh, technology to other banks worldwide. So they're going to be making a lot of money. I think I'm going to hold on to my Bank of America stock. Um, so looking to implement ATM as a service to enable customers without existing relationships with a participating financial institution to transfer money across the same ATM network or even access point-to-point -point video communication using the ATM. Ooh. So uh, I want to say here, it goes on, the data transports uh, supporting ATM management, signaling and non-financial institution and financial institution transactions may be strictly communicated to a cloud platform and subsequent hosting of web and application services may allow secure and scalable options. So again, it's saying that Bank of America has filed more than 50 blockchain related patents as of August 2018 and this is December 2018 so they are really looking to make an impact so all my financial services people that are interested in blockchain this is what you want to pay attention to okay so next uh, article here two key use cases of blockchain in communications and I thought this article was very interesting because they talked about it in terms of companies, large companies, and how blockchain is going to help with company-wide communications. So they are saying here, uh, there are two scenarios where blockchain is going to help under this UC umbrella, and UC stands for Unified Communications. So number one is company-wide collaboration. And the author is basically just saying here that there is, you know, within these big companies, there are usually these silos. And within these silos, there will be data that needs to be protected, and then there will also be just a, uh, people feel a lack of transparency from one department to the next department. And I know in government, this is a conversation that we have as well because there is some information that cannot flow down, yet people need to access parts of information without being able to see everything. So one of the things that blockchain is going to be able to help with, whether it is within companies or within the government, is this idea of how to make divisions 
of an organization more transparent while also making sure that data is secure from outside of the organization. So um, you'll think about scenarios in which sensitive information within a department could be beneficial for company-wide collaboration initiatives, such as customer records, payment histories, financial data, and software code. Using blockchain, departments could securely share their most guarded information without having to tear down silos or expose any data for misuse. We're always talking about being a blockchain consultant, and if that is something that uh, excites you, then I definitely suggest you do further research, because I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of money in that specific use case. All right, so the next thing is voice security as a communications tool. And this is something that I hadn't thought of, but it's very interesting. So they are talking about artificial intelligence, and now, um, we are getting to a point where, uh, well, let's see, three, five years ago, you would be able to tell if you were listening to an AI voice versus a human voice. However, AI is getting to the point where it is almost indistinguishable from a human voice. And we also, I would imagine, like the way that I speak may be different from the way that you speak, whether it's my accent, my cadence, how fast or slow I speak, et cetera. Blockchain is going to be able to, first of all, distinguish between an artificial voice and a true human voice. And then it will eventually be set up where it could distinguish your voice from my voice. So we could use that. One of the big things within blockchain is uh, digital identification. This may be one of the ways that people can tell my voice from your voice. Uh, so there's a lot of synergy with what's happening between AI and the blockchain. And again, if you're any kind of a techie or just curious about it, I would suggest you do more research in regards to that. So what they're saying here, sorry, um, until recently, direct inward dialing, those ubiquitous 10 digit phone numbers has been our dominant identifier for real time communication. Considering how we did DID for voice and messaging, our identity, personal privacy and data security are at risk. And again, this is in regards to company wide. So um, they are saying here, that uh, now consider the dominant voice technologies of the public switch telephone network, the OIP and cellular, and how each has distinct security shortcomings. Blockchain wasn't designed with voice in mind, but clearly use cases exist for one-to-one -one and team-based communications. With DID, validating identity is becoming more difficult as calls can be easily spoofed or eavesdropped and callers can be impersonated using artificial intelligence. So they are talking about some of the dark cyber crimes that are, that are going to be happening and how blockchain is going to help with that. So again, if you're in a large organization or you wanna do consulting, blockchain consulting for large organizations, this is something you may wanna pay attention to. All right. Number three is a uh, final, final um, article, three conflicts that will shape blockchain tech in 2019. So this is from Coindesk. Um, number one is ideology versus product market fit. There are blockchain purists, blockchain agnostics, blockchain capitalists, um, I personally am a capitalist, but I have talked with a lot of blockchain purists who believe in decentralization. I uh, <laughs> don't see things being totally decentralized just because that is the nature of big business. But one of the things they're saying within this section of the article, which I agree with, is right now you've seen VCs give Series A funding and they must see the product market fit 
before Series B, C, and D funding is actually raised for a lot of these blockchain projects. So um, I believe that those uh, shifts will happen, that a lot of problems are being solved with blockchain. Oh, sorry, a lot of the problems that blockchain had a couple of years ago are being solved, but we are looking for the product market fit uh, and you know that, that's being resolved. Next is market capitalization versus adoption. And this is really exciting because in this section of the article, they talk about the lack, the lack of adoption thus far. However, we know that adoption, mass adoption of blockchain is gonna come in the next three to five years. So now's the right time for you to get involved, learn more, more, more about blockchain because whether it's crypto or, um, or, or blockchain projects, if you start off now and you just start with 30 minutes a day just reading up on you know, articles and things like that, by the time the adoption really begins to occur and people really start making money, you will be in a good position to capitalize on it. And next, of course, number three are believers and non-believers. So, you know, uh, if people are die hard, if people are, you know, it's a scam, everything in between. What they're saying in the article is that 2019 will also be another critical year. We're at the end of 2018, you know, the market is tanked. Last year, this time, the market was going crazy. And really, it is about, um, I think that there's going to be a happy medium. I do, in the next few years. And with, as BBC, as Black Blockchain Consultants, all we're trying to do is figure out how we can get our share of the $3.1 trillion industry that's coming up. So again, great article in regards to the three conflicts that will shape blockchain tech in 2019. And once again, I just tell you to stay focused. Uh, you know, you don't have to do a lot of work on a daily basis, but you just want to, you know, keep looking, stay involved, and know that this is going to uh, be big in terms of Web 3.0, and you just want your share. And I want you to have your share. That's really it. So that's why we go over some of these articles that are, um, that are big, that's happening in the news. So that's it for me. God bless you. If you want to join Black Blockchain Consultants, we have our own internal communications group uh, um, on, a, uh, on Flock is where we have it. We are starting to do some revenue producing things where you can join us in our consulting company, make a little bit of money. We can't take everybody uh, in terms of that, but we are looking to bring on as many people as possible. Uh, through education as well as consulting within certain industries. We're going to be putting up the money to do the marketing, getting the leads in, and then if you are qualified and you have an interest in that industry and that project, you can raise your hand and say, yes, you know, I want to, to be a part of this. So uh, you could also come find team members within Flock if you have your own blockchain project that you're working on. Our goal is to help you make money and to support you in that process. So you can start your, come in, you know, learn all the information and start your own blockchain consulting business. I welcome that as well. Uh, find a couple of team members if you wish to work with just a couple of people. Dominate your, your city your industry, whatever it is, we just want you to be successful. So that's it. Please consider uh, joining Black Blockchain Consultants at blackblockchainconsultants.com. And I uh, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day.